<laughs> Jackson, look out! Makes a cut. Why not spin in for another touchdown? Unbelievable. You know how everybody has a kind of a Heisman play that you see the highlights over and over and over again? They sense it, I think, right there. Yeah. Look at that. What an exclamation point for him today. And against the Knowles defense. This isn't Syracuse. Had their face masks tangled up. Had to be separated as Hampton breaks free. We'll see if he had this ball all the way through. Look at him, Tiki Barber in it, holding it up tight. Let's see. Oh, it looks like it might have came out there at the end. Nate Wiggins punches it out at the very end. Holy smokes. But if that ball came loose before the one-yard line and it goes through the side of the end zone, it would not only be Clemson football, it would be Clemson football. to the 24 and it gives McLeod a chance as he cuts to the inside past midfield and on the go New Jersey same old speed Ray Ray McLeod how about it Tigers roar you got to make the first guy miss that little stutter step throws both of the gunners it was such a good punt it allowed McLeod to set it up and then some shoddy tackling, but making those first two guys miss with the hesitation is all McLeod needed. 77 yard punt return touchdown for Ray Ray McLeod. What are the realistic chances of him winning the Heisman this year? Well, Louisville has to win 10 or 11 games for sure and be in the national championship conversation. They likely have to win the ACC and he has to match or beat his numbers from a year ago. Here he goes, breaking a tackle. Jackson making moves at the 10, right on cue, staring down the defender as he hits Pater. Touchdown, Lamar Jackson. He's just a man amongst boys. Doesn't even look like he's running hard. Look at how tight that hole is on the offensive line and the way he just splits it full throttle for those that forgot Lamar Jackson reminds you he is the reigning Heisman Trophy winner and could be they like design runs down here for May he has plenty of time now he's running away from Davis throws it right away threw it right to Nate Wiggins and he is going Throwing for the first time. Quick hitter. Here's Colby Young. Check out the speed. Colby Young is gone. Touchdown, Hurricanes. Tunnel screen. Beautiful. Quick release by Van Dyke. Matt Lee, the center, gets out in front. Jalen Rivers, the left tackle, out in front. You get it to your speedster, Colby Young. Down the left sideline. He... Jane Thompson, you won't see him. He's injured tonight. He transferred in from Cincinnati. Ooh. It's another big run. Can Jordan go the distance? He breaks a tackle, and he'll score. <laughs> I mean, you need a big chunk of yards? <laughs> you better find where number 25 is and give him the football. And they all came in the last five games of last year up until now. <laughs> He's got another 100 yards, four attempts, 113 yards rushing. Didn't beat last week's long, though. This was only 72 yards. Five games he played in. Quick throw and a quick hit. Terry, Terry, touchdown. 44 yards. Tamari and Terry on the slant. Tanner Engel, who's a really good player at free safety, doesn't take the right angle. 
And that's why it's so important as a quarterback to keep the speed of the wide receiver up when he's running an in-breaking route. It's a flag down here. Now Bill Walton right now is going to light me up as a member of the Conference of Champions as that ball gets picked off on a redirection. A live ball to Tanner Muse returns inside the 20 and Muse making music. Touchdown Clemson. Watch as they set the edge. That's the key here to be able to get this play going. And people underestimate Dalvin Cook's speed. You can see, watch, watch how quickly he gets to the corner right there. And now he beats 23 and White, Van Smith to, the, to that edge. And in grand style, Kirk, Dalvin, as he hits the tape there at the finish line, goes over 100 yards. 18th 100 yard game, Kirk, and now his third consecutive 1,000 yard season on that run. The electrifying Dalvin Cook again. Hines will bring it out. Got a couple of good blocks. Hines, it's a foot race, and they're not going to get him. 100 yards. Hello. When we talked to the coaches, they talked about this young man's world-class speed, the true freshman. You can see the quality of speed going up at NC State, and the special teams are an actual weapon now for NC State. Sideline of the 20. Wants to attempt that return. Doubles back. Left side for Henderson. Has some blockers there midfield. Henderson inside the 30 gets away down the sideline. Diving for the end zone. Quadri Henderson, 80 yards, a punt return TD. Well, Henderson said, forget the short field opportunity. I'm going to put it in the end zone myself. This is an incredible play by pitch return unit because Henderson had a long way to go to get to the wall. But you see just how dynamic this kid is. He's got great speed, good vision. He's an excellent runner. Well, had, uh, yeah, he just did an excellent job, Tom, of staying just inside the line. It's just an incredible talent, uh, his ability to create on his return. Lawrence took a peek downfield, had a lot of room, and breaks a tackle, and is still running. Lawrence in a foot race. Will they catch him? Touchdown, Tigers! Wow! A game-changing play. You can see the linebackers, they actually move this way, and now it's up to the free safety, Josh Proctor, to be able to make a play. The eraser, right? you got to make that play. And again, he's 6'6", 220, making those moves in the open field. Heck of a play, and the Tigers are right back in this game. Long run this season before that was 28 yards, but it is the eighth rushing touchdown for Trevor. And Clemson within two. Now trying to make it five consecutive victories over North Carolina. Howell to put it in the air and a quick strike. Here's Brown. Brown is going to take off. Brown down to the 20. Down to the 10. He's going to walk into the end zone. 75 yards. Now that's a fast answer. Here's the deal. He's on the bottom of the screen, and he's going to run a slant. Now the reaction to the run action is going to get the safety to come down some. And when that happens, there's a window behind it. And there's the window, and then there is the speed. Anthony Johnson's at corner, number three at the bottom, and he can't close enough, and then it's just straight speed to split him down the field. And this is a big deal for the Tar Heels when you think about it. Joffrey Brown hasn't registered a catch yet. They want to get him going. They feel like big plays will happen in waves with him. And that may be the first wave. Realize what a great piece of American history that is. Feaster breaking free. They're going to have to track him down. Tavian Feaster, how about it? 89-yard touchdown. The longest play from scrimmage this year for Clemson. If that isn't the ultimate ending.
to a quarter by Clemson. I don't know what is. Zeros hit on the clock. What a way to say we're ready for the fourth. If the ball wasn't thrown that way. On the jet sweep, Zay Flowers, the exciting freshman. He's off to the races inside the 20. And he is in for a touchdown. Seeker much longer. <laughs> Zay Flowers is an explosive human being. Jet sweep early, and this is the kind of play that Richmond wanted to avoid. One where you're taking up huge swaths of, of real estate in one single. And a little pitch on the end around a true freshman, Daz Newsom, and there he goes. Newsom has great speed, turning around the defender at the 10 yard line. Finally, they catch him inside the 10. 56 yard run. That's a great start on the stat sheet. Nice little shovel pass right underneath on the jet sweep and out the gate. With this offense. Harris has the edge. Big fella accelerates down the sidelines to midfield. It's a foot race. Can they angle him out? Diving for the pylon. Touchdown, Miami. 75 yards. That is how you answer a long touchdown drive by the other team. Absolutely. Good job by Harris, but it was the design with the formation, with the motion that opened up and put Louisville's defense at a disadvantage. That is a perfect natural grass surface for these players. There's Armstrong on the run. Accelerates away. Down the sideline. Touchdown, Virginia. Well, the ball player pulls it. He sees them crash down on number two, and justifiably so. Number two's hurting you right now. Defensively, hey, I'm going to help out a little bit. We got to stop. Maybe on red, pride it loose. Covered by the cards and Cunningham. Over the middle, official gets out of the way. First down on the catch. Harrell on the run, and he will go the distance for Louisville. Tyler Harrell told us we need the explosive play from somebody other than Malik Cunningham. Cunningham gets that ball there, fires one right down the middle, and they get it to the track star. How about that number eight? on the Wolfpack, pushes it near midfield for a fresh set of downs. And here is Waters into the NC State secondary. Jordan Waters. Well, and another quick hitter, and this one is blocked really well. Jacob Monk does a nice job kind of sealing that right side as Waters gets out that way. And then a good finish to the run by Waters, because that's Boykin who... So first and ten. Waters trying to get to the right side. He'll turn the corner in midfield. And then the Wolfpack rally with Bishop Fitzgerald making the tackle on the Blue Devil running back. Duke starts it at 17. After NC State opened the second half. And here is Jordan Waters running free. And nobody touched him. Touchdown, Duke. Jalen Scott just come way too far up the field because he's worried about the quarterback. And because of that, it creates a huge running lane for Waters. And he just takes off too much speed. And the Duke Blue Devils 